Dad, you cheated, you cheated. Bang out the machete, boom in her face, and then grip her up by the neck. Like, Shut up, bitch! Let me tell you something. Revolutions are nothing more than a bunch of men in one place. It's not women, it's men. If you put enough men on a city square pissed off, a revolution happens. That's what the people in charge of the world are afraid of. So to make sure there's no revolution, what they do is they construct as many divisions amongst the peasants as possible. They make sure the blacks hate the whites, the men hate the women, the Republicans hate the Democrats, and we're all so busy fighting with each other they can laugh from the top because there's not very many of them and there's a bunch of us. I'm telling you, the reason in countries like America, the reason the law is so destructive against men is very, very purposeful. They don't want you to feel like a king. They don't want you to feel powerful. You wake up amongst three bitches. If you have fucking 10 sons from 10 baby mamas, you're going to wake up and feel like the man. You ain't taking shit easy. If you wake up out in your fucking third year of a sexless marriage, paying taxes, and your kids don't even listen to you, you don't really feel like rebellion. You don't have it inside of you. This is why there's so much fucking male suicide. This is why men are so depressed. This is why everyone's so unhappy, because the life they try and create for men, the things they try and purport, the ideas they try and make us subscribe to, are depressing. They want you as a tax slave. They want you as a tax slave. They want you in a sexist marriage with some old fat bitch who hates you. That's what they want. Afraid to leave because they'll take your house and destroy your life's work. And they want you to sit there and pay your taxes until you fucking die. This is all done on purpose. None of this is an accident. It's all very purposeful. And in countries, in countries which are not like this, in countries where men still have that masculine essence, in countries where they're still in control of their own household, when the government tries to become tyrannical, it's far more difficult to do. Because the men get together and say, you know what, women, clean the house. I'll be back in two hours. I'm going to tell these guys to get fucked. And that's, what, that's, that's the reality of it. This is a control mechanism, along with everything else. Everything you see on TV, this is my final rant. Everything you see on TV is a control mechanism. All the shit they put on Netflix is a control mechanism. Telling you that you have mental problems you don't have is a control mechanism. Telling you, oh, you, oh yeah, you can't focus on anything for two minutes because you have ADHD or you're depressed and you can never fix it. They're trying to control you. They're trying to dampen your life force. Making sure your woman doesn't listen to you is a control mechanism. Making sure you can never leave her without being financially destroyed is a control mechanism. It's all control mechanisms, all of it from head to toe. You have to resist the slave mind. You have to look at it all and understand they are trying to make a slave of you. And when I say slave, I do not mean slave likely. I, I mean the word slave. They are printing money from the sky and you're giving up your life for it. If they can create something in unlimited amounts anytime they want and you'll give up your life and time for that said thing, you are their slave. They don't need to use power and control and wits anymore. They just have the, the money print button. It's slavery. And they need to make sure that even if you know that, you don't feel powerful enough to do anything about it. All of this. Every single thing about the modern world was deliberately constructed to get us to a point where they can come along and lock you in your house for something with a 99.9% .9 survival rate, and you're going to sit there and take it like a bitch anyway. That's what all this shit is, including being in a position where you can't even tell your own woman she's not allowed out with her friends to get fucking drunk with a bunch of dudes. Because you're not even allowed to do that. If a wife comes home and goes, I want to go out drinking tonight, you go, you're not fucking going nowhere. <laughs> oh, I want to go out with my friends from work. You're not going out with them men. That's coercive and controlling behavior. Bro, you can't even tell your bitch not to go get fucking drunk with dudes. They're, they'll call that abusive. The, the, you're an abusive misogynist. You're Andrew Tate. Cancel him. It's insanity. And it's all done on purpose. I don't want anyone to sit here and think this is some accident we've arrived at or that we're here now and it's, it's no big deal. This is very, very purposeful because when you destroy the warriors of a society, that's how you usher in slavery. First thing the Romans did when they conquered the Greeks is kill all the warriors, all the fighting age males. You leave the soy boys and the bitches and then you can conquer it. Done. That's what they're doing to us. They're trying to destroy the warriors. So my G's, the ones who are left, don't worry about fucking some pussy. We got bigger <laughs> fights coming up. We got bigger We got bigger wars coming ahead of us. So if you want to fuck some pussy, go fuck it. Because I really believe the next 10 years are going to be difficult for men of stature. I really believe that. Bang out the machete, boom in her face, and grip her up by the neck. Shut up, bitch!